guys, my name is Jeff, and this is one of just 37 produced 1963 Ford Thunderbird M-Code Sports Roadsters. And it's selling at no reserve here at the 2023 Barrett-Jackson Las Vegas auctions. But before we open it up and get into all the details of this beautiful car, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. So today we're going to be taking a look at this one of 37 1963 Ford Thunderbird M-Code Sports Roadster. Now there is a lot in that name. We're going to decode all of that as we take a look at this car. Now the first one being that this is a sports roadster and this body style is the third gen or bullet bird as it's sometimes referred to because of the sharp nose cone at the front of this car, the way the car comes to a point and then has the rounded side. So that's where the bullet bird nickname comes from. But let's talk about the history of the Ford Thunderbird for a little bit. When the Thunderbird was first released in 1955, it was often compared to the Corvette, which was released in 1953. Now, the Thunderbird was originally sold as a two-seat roadster, but eventually, with the second generation, started being sold as a four-seater uh, car, and that increased sales. It was outselling the Corvette about nine to one. Now, eventually, with the third generation, or the Bullet Bird body styles we're talking about here, there started to be some pleas. Sales started to decline a little bit, and both dealers and customers were looking for something a little bit different from Ford and the Thunderbird. So what they decided to add instead was a two-seat version. So eventually on order sheets appeared something called the Sport Roadster Option. And now the Sport Roadster Option would equip this super cool fastback look that would make this a two-seater once again, but more importantly was the M-Code Option, which this car is equipped with. So if we go ahead and open the hood on our M-Code here, Here's the important part. The reason this is an M-Code is it's equipped with a 390 cubic inch V8 with three two-barrel Holy carburetors that produces a total of 340 horsepower from the factory, and then that is paired with a Cruise-O-Matic three-speed automatic transmission and sends power to the rear wheels. This allowed this car to do zero to 60 somewhere in around 7.6 seconds with a top speed of around 125 miles an hour. And this was a big deal for this car as this made this more of a performer, obviously more of a sports car with only that two seat bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the car and see what makes this some of the truly special M code bits. As we come around to the side, we have some cool wire spoke knockoff style wheels, which are very cool, very sort of healthy K special style for the M code. Combines some cool grills. A lot of this is going to be relatively uh, similar for the standard Thunderbird, but here is that sports roadster option I was talking about. So you can see what would have been a back seat is now just a sort of sporty two-door option and then everything in here is going to look fairly similar for the bullet bird as far as the interior nothing special there other than the shifter for our three-speed automatic transmission and then this is my favorite generation of thunderbird because when you come to the rear you have these really really cool turbine taillights and i think these really draw the whole bullet bird thing um, to just a beautifully styled car this is probably the best looking uh, thunderbird in my opinion aside from maybe the first generation and they really sort of stand out to me so that's a quick look at this car this particular car happened to sell at an MSRP of $6,900, worth considerably more than that now, which of course is going to be selling no reserve at the Barrett Jackson auction here. Now, if you guys are looking for a collector car for yourself, be sure to check out AutoHunter.com, which is our online auction with cars going live every single weekday, and our sister site, ClassicCars.com, which is an online marketplace with over 30,000 cars currently live on the site. If you enjoyed the video, could hit that like button for us, really appreciate it, and consider getting subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.